There's been some progress and some possible solutions pitched to help Kansas City, Missouri's troubled 911 call center. KNBC's Andy Alcock is getting answers about what could be next. It is obvious that there's more work that needs to be done. Kansas City Mayor Quentin Lucas had that response after listening to consultant Dean Hart summarize a Jackson County 911 study at the Board of Police Commissioners meeting. Hart said part of the problem is nearly half the calls are non-emergency. He recommended expanding the city's 311 service center to an around-the-clock operation to handle many of those calls. But we got to sit here and work on getting rid of these non-emergency calls. It's taking up a lot of time for a call taker. It should be answering emergency calls. And that's something that the city is already exploring. City manager Brian Platt was at the meeting. He's already met with police and fire department leaders to work on a potential merger of their call centers. Mayor Lucas favors building a new and larger call center. He points to the $25 million parking garage being built under City Hall as something less important getting taxpayer dollars. You know, I think that if we were looking at resource allocation, uh, the telecommunications issue would be vastly more important than other things I imagine City Council will approve this year. And do you have a plan? Do you expect a plan is going to be unveiled at some point uh, here in the near future? God help us. I hope there is. The Jackson County 911 study also recommends hiring nearly double the budgeted communications staff at KCPD. Andy Alcock, KNBC 9 News. KCPD is actively searching for 911 call takers and dispatchers. Recruiters will be at Kearney High School tomorrow afternoon.